Hi, I'm Laurie and welcome to your lower body workout. Minimal equipment today. What you're going to need, resistance band, preferably one of the fabric ones. You will need a set of dumbbells and you will also need a bench. Now, if you don't have these things, don't worry about it. We can make do. If you don't have a band, use body weight. If you don't have dumbbells, grab something in your kitchen that can mimic them. And if you don't have a bench, let's get creative. Use your couch, use an ottoman, use a sturdy chair. So we're going to begin in a sideline position. So if you have that band, go ahead, slide it around, uh, right around the quads, lay on your left side. We're going to start with some side lying extra range hip abductions. So we're coming to the edge of your bench or your couch or whatever you've got. Dorsiflex at the right ankle. We bring it all the way up and then control it on the way down. We have 15 of these. This just provides extra range of motion. Let's hit it your own pace really press into the band firing up the outer glutes ten more ten nine eight seven six five four three two and one come all the way on your bench knees forward heels back clam shells 15 Press the outer, uh, the right knee towards the back wall. Bring it on down. 15, 15. At your own pace. Press and squeeze at the top. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now we have sideline hip raises. We're doing the same thing, but this time, we're gonna press up, lift the hips, press into the band, come on down. It's like an amped up version of those clamshells. 15, let's go. Press it up, control. Working those obliques as well. Bottom hip up. Is that burning? Come on, 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Last four, three, two, and one. Come into a quadrant position. So left knee on the bench, left hand on the bench, right hand can go on the bench as well. From here, we lift the right leg up, Dorsey flex, then bring it all the way down. If you don't have a bench, don't worry, just do it on the ground. We bring it up and lower, 15 at your own pace. Hard squeeze of the glutes at the top. Hip points are square. Keep this tempo, 10. Nine, eight, seven, deep belly button draws up and in. Here's your last five, four, three, two. Now hold it up, little pulses up. 15 pulses, up an inch, squeeze, hard squeeze, 10 more. Last five, four, three, two, and one, great job. We're lying all the way down. Soles of the feet are gonna come slightly together. So roll over onto the outer blades of the foot. Posterior tilt, press through the outer blades of the foot. Glutes are up, hard squeeze of those glutes. We're gonna press into the band and go up at the same time. Frog pumps, we have these for 60 seconds. Let's go. Up and squeeze. So I like this posterior tilt of the pelvis just so you can get better glute engagement. So not only think about going up with the glutes, but press into the band as well, abducting at the same time. Keep that good breath. Never stop breathing. <laughs> Please don't. Up and press. All right, we're halfway through. We have 30 more seconds. Big squeeze at the top. Small range of motion, big results. Last 15 seconds. Hold this pace. Hold this tempo. It's burden for me. It should be for you as well. 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Release. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we're just flipping the direction. Left leg goes on top. We're laying on the right side. So let's scoot forward, right foot plants. We have 15 extra range of motion, hip abductions, let's go. 
press it up. Working the outer glutes, outer thighs, press into the band. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it into those clamshells right away. Press it back. Big squeeze at the top. We have 15 at your own pace. One side's probably gonna feel a little bit more challenging than the other. That's normal. Last five, four, three, two, one. Same thing, but find space underneath the hips. 15. Up and squeeze. Press into the forearm, shoulder directly over the elbow. Keep it up, come on, seven, five, three, two, and one. Come into that quadruple position, left leg hangs. We bring it up, glute lifts, 15 at your own pace. Square off the hips, big squeeze of the glutes at the top. Deep belly button draws up and in as well, so you're working the core as well. Last five, four, three, we hold it up and pulse, two. Now hold it up, 15 pulses, up an inch. Big hard squeeze at the top. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lay on your bench, your couch, whatever, the floor even. We're coming into 60 seconds of frog pumps. So small movement, big results, posterior tilt on the outer blades of the feet. We bring it up, 60 seconds, let's go. Go up and out, same time. As we go up, we are abducting the legs. All right, you continue this. I'm gonna give you a different angle of what my legs look like. So as I go up, my legs are also going out, pressing into the band, working the glute max, working the outer glutes. It's a beautiful thing. We're halfway through, 30 seconds, keep this tempo. Here's your last 15 seconds, we got it. We're in this together, it's burning for me, it should be burning for you too. Last five, four, three, two, and one, release it down. All right, so we're gonna come back and do that again each side, starting with the right leg moving up and down, extra range, hip abduction, so wiggle that booty on front, dorsiflex at the right ankle, we bring it up, Lower down, 15 of them. Take your time. You can always hit pause, come back. It's hard. It's just gotten way more challenging for me. Are you at that point yet? Come on, five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Clam shells, let's get right into it, 15. And after this, we're going straight into that challenging clamshell where we lift our hips. Five more, last five, four, three, two, raise the hip, keep this motion. You may wanna bring that forward hand to help support you. Space under the hips. Here we go, last five, four, three, two, and one. Let's get into that quadruple glute lift. Right leg hangs and it is moving. Square off the hips, 15, let's get right into it. Leading with the heel, neutral back. Here's your last five, four, three, two. Hold it up and pulse. 15 small controlled pulses. 
10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Awesome. Back to frog pumps. Get into position. Roll over onto the outer blades of the heel. Posterior tilt. We drive it up. Here we go. 60 seconds. Up and out. We are getting those glutes on fire today. This was a request by one of my best friends, Solar Dixon. If you're doing this, this one's for you. And we're doing frog pumps. That was awkward timing on my part, but love you, Laura. <laughs> Keep it up, feel the burn, up and out. Halfway through, 30 more seconds. Small controlled moves. Go ahead, put your hands on your glutes. It should be firming up. Fifteen seconds. Eight, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Roll it on up. We got to do the other side. So we're lying on the right hip. Left leg does the moving. Make sure we're scooched forward. Both feet on the ground. Dorsiflex at the left ankle. We have extra range, sideline, hip abductions. 15 at your own pace. Last round of these. Make them good. Make them your best yet. There's no lying in my face. This is hard. This is challenging. That's why we made it. That's why we're doing this. We want to challenge ourselves. Come on, two more. Clam shells, get right into it. 15, you've already done them. Let's do it again. Press it out. Big squeeze of the outer glutes. We have five more, and then we add that hip raise up. And two, and one, let's go. 15, hip up. These are more challenging. You can do it. If you need to, stick with the previous version. Come on, five more, that's it. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down, quadruple glute lifts, get into position. Left leg's moving, 15, let's go. Ten more. Big squeeze at the top. Eight more, then we're going to hold that pulse one final time. In five, four, three, two, hold it up. Fifteen pulses at your own pace. Hard squeeze the glute at the top. Just an inch. Make it count. Eight, six, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. One more round of those frog pumps. Get into position. 60 seconds on. Posterior tilt. Let's drive it up. Here we go. Out and in. Out and up. It's burning so much. It's going to my brain. This becomes really challenging with no, pretty much no recovery time. We're getting one side recovery, going to the other. But we're feeling it right here. Stay with me. Come on. Last round. Hard squeeze at the top. Take a big, deep, expansive inhale. Exhale, we got it. Come on, 30 more seconds. Don't slack now. Keep driving it. Full range of motion. Come on. Fifteen seconds. Last ten, nine, and eight. We're going to hold. Four, three, two. I still hold at the top. Hold and squeeze. Fifteen seconds. Hold it up. Big squeeze of the glutes. Just maintain for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two and release. Let's go ahead, roll it on up. If you need a drink of water, grab it right now. I'm gonna flip my bench just so you can see me better for the exercises to come. So let's take off our band, take a seat, 
slide that band off and we are done with it for now. What's coming next? We will need some dumbbells. We'll alternate with like one dumbbell, go to two and hold on to it. We will be stepping onto this as well as applying pressure down and back. So if you do have a chair, I highly recommend bracing it against a wall so it does not tip over. All right, we need just one dumbbell to start. We're coming back to a previous version. So B stance hip thrust. So go ahead, shimmy the bottom of the shoulder blades on the bench, left foot grounds completely. This right foot, turn it into a kickstand, 80% of the weight in the left heel, 20 in the right. We bring it down, posterior tilt, drive it up. 15 at your own pace, let's go. The weight is providing the resistance. So you can go as heavy as you want here. Big squeeze of the glutes at the top. We're looking forward. We have five more, four and three. We hold at the top, last two, hold it at the top. We're switching the feet. Right foot goes in, left foot goes out. B stands hip thrust, 15, other side at your own pace. Squeeze it up. Reset after each one if you have to, I do. I have to reset into that posterior tilt, but if you don't have to, feel free to rep it out, but make it controlled. Big squeeze at the top. Last five, four, three, two, one. Hold it at the top. Both feet plant firmly. Bilateral hip thrust, both feet planted. We have 60 seconds, let's go. You can go as fast or as slow as you want to here. Really drive through the heels. Big squeeze of the glutes at the top. <laughs> when I shake my head, by the way, or I laugh, it's because this is challenging. This is challenging for me. We should all feel challenged. And we're gonna keep going. We're gonna fight through every single rep. Make every rep perfect. And we're making it count right here. <sighs> 15 seconds, that's it. Hips below the rib cage. Five seconds. Let's get two more reps in. Last one, big hold and squeeze at the top. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release it down. We need to grab both weights. We're gonna step up. So if, you, if you're stepping up on your couch, be sure to not Rick James it, take off your shoes. Let's start with your weaker side first. For me, it's my left. So really drive through the heel. We step up, control it down, left foot stays planted. We're just teeter totter, tottering it. Join me, we have 15 at your own pace. It goes back, drive through the heel. Back, drive through the heel. Knee behind the second or third big toe. Form still does matter. We gotta get the muscle mind connection. Hammies and glutes. That's what we're going for. Five more. Five, four, three, Two, and one. Now we're going for a step down, so keep this left foot planted. We bring this right toe down for a count of five, four, three, two, barely tap the toe, bring it on up. Now if you need to, you get 15 of these. If you need to, you can plant the foot down completely, but take this eccentric face as slow as you possibly can. Barely tap that toe. I lost my balance, that's okay. Focus on a non-moving focal point. Five more. Brace the core, you got it. Four. Three. Two. 
and one. Go ahead, set those dumbbells down. We have 15 body weight. Let's go, just step up. 15 body weight step ups, own pace. Keep driving through that heel. Legs should be on fire. Mine are. Keep this pace. Five more, last five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, we gotta do that other side. So grab your weights, one in each hand. We're gonna start with step ups, 15 at your own pace. Just drive through that heel, let's get to work. No recovery time. This is what y'all wanted. It's giving y'all what you want. Quick workout, effective, and it's gonna be challenging. It's okay. Embrace the challenge. That's what makes our bodies change. Keep it up, keep this tempo. Drive through the heel. Hips are square. Five more. Four. Three. Two. One, hold it at the top. Step down so we take it down. Slow and controlled. Barely tap the toe, drive it up. Barely tap that toe. Bring it up. This is a little bit more challenging than the step ups. Regain the balance if it gets away from you. Come on, five more. Five, four, Drive through the heel. Three, two, last one. Set those body weight, set the dumbbells down. Body weight step ups, 15. Let's get to work, keep moving. We're over halfway through. Keep it up, you got this. Here's your last five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. All right, grab your weights. Next on the list, Bulgarian split squats. So left foot goes forward, right foot comes behind. Now I prefer laying the top of my right foot on the bench. You can do whatever feels good for you. Walk it on out. Find your in-range motion, knee behind the second or third big toe. Drive it up, 15 at your own pace. Hips are square, brace the core, do your best. That's all that matters. Come on, five more and then we go to body weight. Four, three, two, one. Get rid of those dumbbells, just place it in front. We have 15 body weight. Doing a little drop set. 10, eight, Six, five, four, three, two, isometric hold. Eight, six, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Grab your dumbbells. We gotta go to the other side. Ooh, really shake it out. All right, let's get right to it. Find your stance, brace the core, square off the hips. Knee staying behind that second or third big toe, so walk it out if we need to. 15 at your own pace. If you need to take a break, you take it and just come back when you want. Grab that drink, get right back to work. It's a great thing about home workouts. Three, two, one, drop the weights, 15 body weight. Last five, four, three, two, now hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and shake it out. Whew. All right, let's grab one of your weights. We're gonna do that giant set again, starting with the B stance hip thrust. So adjust your weight accordingly. If that wasn't challenging, if you can maintain the mind muscle connection in the form, by all means go heavier. 15 of these, let's hit it. At your own pace, left foot is grounded first, or whatever your weaker side is. I always prefer doing the weaker side first and then matching it with the stronger side if you have a muscular imbalance, which is very, very common. These one-sided exercises 
Great way to fix those muscular imbalances. Five more, five, four, three, two, one. Hold at the top, switch the feet, right foot in, left foot kickstand, B stance on the right, 15. Notice how I'm keeping my hips slightly under the rib cage. This gets better glute activation. So when I don't do that and I come straight up, straight down, I start to feel it in my low back. That's where I have you guys taking it into a posterior tilt because you can keep the hips below the rib cage. Best way to activate the glutes in this. Three more. Last two. Last one, hold at the top, bilateral hip thrust, 60 seconds on. Now let's hit it. Make sure your knees are not caving in, that they are nice and level and in line with your ankles. Keep this tempo, hard squeeze at the top. This is our last time doing these hip thrusts. Take that big deep 360 inhale throughout the rib cage. Exhale, draw that D belly button up and in. We're over halfway through. Come on, we can do it. Everyone thank Laura. <laughs> Come on, 15 seconds. Last five. Four, three, two, one more rep. Hold at the top. Isometric hold, 15 seconds. Hold it. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And let those hips go. All right, we need both dumbbells, so grab them. We're doing that again. Step up, step downs, body weight step ups. So adjust your weights accordingly to your weaker side first. For me, I'm cueing from the left. All right, 15 at your own pace, let's go. Make sure you're driving through the heel. That gets the best activation in the glutes and hamstrings. What I see all the time is that number. I don't even know what that is, but it's not good on your knees and it will probably work your quads a little bit more than your glutes and hamstrings. Three more, three, two, hold at the top, step downs at your own pace, 15. Take this bottom part slow, drive through the heel. Chest is lifted still, we got this. Keep this tempo, we got this, we can do this. Six more. I know it's getting hard, fight through it. Four, press, come on. Three, two, one. Awesome job. Set those dumbbells off to the side, 15 body weight at your own pace, come on. Focus over halfway through. Five more. Five, four, three, two, and last one. Awesome, shake it out. All right, let's get right into that other side. Grab your dumbbells, 15 step ups, drive through that right heel at your own pace. Ask yourself, where are you feeling this? What muscles are we even working? Should be glutes and hamstrings. That's the back of the legs. Quads are doing a little bit. Hamstrings and glutes, that's the main focus. Five more. Last five. Four. Three. Two. Last one, hold at the top, step down. Slow on the way down. Drive it up.
focus on something that's not moving right in front of you. Brace the core, hip point square. Keep driving through that heel. Five more. Four, drive. Three, drive. Come on, two more. Last one, I know it's hard. You can do it. Awesome job, set those weights off to the side. 15 body weight, own pace. Let's go. Swing the arms, makes it more enjoyable. Five more, last five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, shake it out. Whew. Let's grab our dumbbells, last thing. Bulgarian split squats, do the weaker side first. We go 15 dumbbells, 15 body weight, and then we're gonna hold. All right, adjust the feet, square off the hips. You can shorten the stance if we need to, make it wider if we need to, 15 at your own pace. Drive through the heel, constant tension in the glutes and hamstrings, no locking out at the top. Fight for it, come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Set the dumbbells down, we got 15 body weight, 15. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold at the bottom, 15 seconds. I know you may be shaking, fight for it, come on. Last 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Whew. We're grabbing those weights one final time. We have got to do the right side and we're getting right into it. Adjust the feet first. Widen the stance if we need to. Widen the base, square up the hips. 15, constant tension. Let's go. So we're just not locking out at the top. Keeping a slight bend at the knee at our full range of motion. I like to lean forward. I get better glute and hamstring engagement that way. Last five, four, three, two, one. Dumbbell set them off, 15 body weight. Get right to work. This is it, y'all. This is what we're ending on. Keep it up. Last five, four, three, two. Now we hold, 15 seconds. We can do this. This is it. 10, eight, you did it on the other side. Four, three, two, and one. All right, thank you, Laura. Love you, we're still best friends after this. Rock on. All right, let's do a nice little stretch. Come to your wall, come to your bench, grab whatever you can find. A little quad stretch first. All right, if y'all didn't think that was challenging, um, may I suggest increasing the resistance band first? Uh, so the fabric bands are more challenging, I believe, in my opinion, than the latex bands. Less wear and tear too, more resistance. Okay, let's prop that foot up on the bench. Hamstring stretch, square off the hips. Then we hinge, whew. You may need to go heavier with the dumbbells as well. And then my bench is standard gym bench, uh, but we just may need a smaller, larger chair. Play around with it, y'all. Oh my goodness, let's go. All right. Nice work today. Okay, final stretch of the day. Let's take it to a figure four stretch. So just bring the outside of the left ankle over your right quad, and then we're gonna hinge back. Hinge back, hitting the left glute, left hip. Slowing the breath down. Let's take it to the other side. You may want a wall to help brace yourself and balance. Drive the outside of the right knee back, and then start to hinge. <laughs> I'm laughing because that was so challenging. Y'all, great work. Remember, only do what you can. Hit pause, take more breaks, and then get right back into it. It's supposed to be challenging. What doesn't challenge you, doesn't change you. You did awesome. You showed up. That's all I could ask for. So uh, like, subscribe, let me know. 
your thoughts about what we just did in the comments below. What do you want to see? I'm here for you. Have a wonderful day.